You don't want to miss this. We are road tripping to one of New York's most celebrated regions, where we're trying world-class wines. Another rough day at the office, people. Getting out on the water, casting a line, and take the trip of a lifetime. Oh! Don't worry not, we did not forget about the food. It's like sex in a shell, people. Right here at Lakeside. Mommy in New York starts right now. If you're looking for a great getaway, it's time to find new roads and head to the Finger Lakes. Home to 11 lakes, travel time about five hours north of the city. And they are spectacular. Around two million years ago, the first of numerous continental glaciers moved southward from the Hudson Bay area and carved out these cavities, which were eventually filled when the glaciers thawed. Early map makers thought the lake's shapes resembled fingers and hence the name stuck. Today, we are exploring Lake Cuco, which some people call the most charming of the Finger Lakes. Its shores are home to the villages of Penyan to the north and Hammondsport to the south, where we set up ten stakes. This laid-back village is chock full of great restaurants and family-friendly festivals. Now, if you are into wine, you have come to the right place. The Finger Lakes is the largest and most acclaimed winemaking region in the eastern United States, and it owes much of its success to the lakes themselves. Steep slopes surrounding the lakes provide a natural means for rainwater and air drainage during the spring and summer growing season. And the plunging depths of the lakes moderate the region's cool autumns with gentle warming fog, thereby extending the growing season. Still, Finger Lakes wines did not make it to the top of the class overnight. That feat took innovative people and hard work. Today, with more than 100 wineries in the region, no fewer than seven of the 11 Finger Lakes host wineries, with a number of great varietals, including Pinot Noir, Cabernet Franc, Chardonnay, and Gewurztraminer, to name a few. But the true star of the Finger Lakes is the cool climate Riesling Grape, which has become the signature Finger Lakes varietal. So naturally, we visited the winery that was instrumental in bringing European grapes stateside. Dr. Konstantin Frank ignited the vinifera revolution, a movement that forever changed the course of wine growing in the Finger Lakes and the United States. Dr. Frank's vision, knowledge, and determination are credited with elevating New York wine industry from a state of happy mediocrity to a level that today commands world attention. A European immigrant, Dr. Frank and his family arrived in the United States in 1951. After a brief stay in New York City, Dr. Frank, a professor of plant sciences who held a PhD in viticulture, moved upstate to take a position at Cornell University's Geneva Experiment Station. Dr. Frank revealed his research for growing the delicate European grape varieties in cold climates, and for the first time, the northeastern United States could produce European varieties of wine. This fourth-generation family-owned winery not only produces an excellent dry Riesling, but at Chateau Frank they are producing exceptional sparkling wines by implementing the same techniques used to make French Champagne. This is 100% Chardonnay, very dry, Wonderfully crisp, sparkling wine. And boom. That's one of my favorite sounds. There it goes. There she goes. This is the labeling. one they were labeling downstairs. That's right. Now nice. we're going to get to taste it. And it's from the 2011 vintage. So it's been aging on the yeast for over four years. Remember we saw those bottles? Uh -huh. They were all dusty and you could see the yeast floating in the bottle. So this is now the finished product. And uh, let's have a toast to your trip to the Finger Lakes. Yes, toast. Thank you so much. Toast Cheers. Toast indeed. Cheers. Oh. Wonderful. That the nice people complexity. were right. We mm. had to come here. The That's people right. were right. They the have spoken. The people are right. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, after all this hard work tasting wine, you've probably worked up quite the appetite. And if you're looking for the restaurant with the best view of the lake, put Bully Hill Winery on your bucket list. Back in the kitchen, Chef Kevin Cornwall was ready to knock our socks off with this. This is our beef brisket, which we smoke right here. Oh, no come on. Slice it nice and thin. Glenny just stuck out her tongue. She was so excited. So how long do you smoke this for? We smoke it for about uh, eight to 10 hours, depending on the size of the briskets. Mm -hmm. 
So we make our own spice rub for this. It has cinnamon, a little bit of cayenne pepper in it, salt, brown sugar, pepper. It smells so amazing. It smells so good. Nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Can I just have a little piece? You sure here? can. Well, yeah, brisket in three, two, one. Yeah. Open the brisket hole. Give it. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice. I'm gonna split it open just, you know, so we can spread it like spread we like to. Spread the camera though, Tom. I'm spreading it for the camera. Here we go. A lot to cut through. It is. This is not an easy, easy work, people. I know I make it look easy, but it's not easy. Definitely Sean not. knows it's not easy. Never. It's not. Oh, but no, no, we like to do this. My man pulled it out. Of I know he pulled it out. But you don't go pulling. Don't go pulling it. Don't pull out. Cause I gotta spread it. <laughs> Woo, baby, baby. We got locally sourced lettuce, a ten ounce hamburger patty, uh, lively run goat cheese, which is a local com company. We got house pickled red onions and house pickles. All right, it's a big one. It's a big boy. You think I can do it, Glenny? I know you can. <laughs> you can, you do. Here we go, people. With the Love My Goat Burger. And Bully Hill, right? This is the Love My love Goat. Love My Goat Burger. Love My Goat. Glenny saw a video on the internet earlier today that was a different kind of Love My Goat, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> Three, two. I'm doubting myself. I'm about to unlock the jaw. You ready? Uh, I'm ready. I'm going to go Three, with gloves, yeah. two, one. Woo! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't hold your applause. <laughs> chup, chup. Look what's happening. Pop popping. Coming up, we hit the water in a classic vintage boat and we cast a line. Plus, we take the ride of a lifetime. But what exactly is a speedy and why you have to have one? Now the Finger Lakes are full of history, especially when it comes to getting out on the water. Boating dates back to Native American tribes, after which the lakes were named when they first fished its waters. Now at the north point of the lake is the village of Penyan, which served as the location of the Penyan Boating Company, which made the iconic wooden boats associated with the area. And at the Finger Lake Boat Museum, you can learn all about these iconic vessels. Lucky for us, friend of the museum, Richard Caldera, took us out on the Penyan that his family has owned for multiple generations. Well, the boat is a 1960 Penyan that uh, has been in my family since new. We uh, picked it up at the Penyan factory at the other end of the lake uh, when I was 10 years old, and I've been riding in that boat ever since. Here we go! Another rough day at the office, people! So when your father bought the boat, how much did it cost? Uh, probably about $400. $400? Yeah, which was a lot of money back then. I can understand how this would never get old. Oh, you never get tired of it. <laughs> you just never get tired of it. You look for excuses yeah. to take off and go boating. <laughs> what do you guys think? Awesome. Awesome, right? Now the Finger Lakes are not just for cruising. Cuca is stocked. So if you're looking to cast a line, you're in the right place. Nice to finally meet you! If you're looking for a super sweet ride and a great guide, Captain Mike and his girl, Sweet Melissa, named after his wife, are a sure bet for a good time. This is a glacial made lake, so when the glacier came in, it's, one of, it's a Y-shaped lake. So this side, there's lots of quick drop-offs. We'll go from 20 feet down to 80 feet pretty quick. Almost like some cliffs underwater. Uh, lots of good weed lines where the bass will be nesting up. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a very good trout lake. There's rainbow trout brown trout, uh, lake trout. Uh, I hear the water is exceptionally clean. Yeah, it's very, very clean, very clear. You can see sometimes 30, 40 feet deep in early in the spring. So I just whip it back? Whip it back and, and when then... You, just like that. Right. Hey! Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it. First try. Reel that baby in. This way? Yeah. This way? Yes. Oh, smallmouth bass. All right, oh. check it out! Nice catch, Tony. Got another one. Maybe I lost it. Oh no, here it is! I'm pretty good at this. Glennie was doubting my ability, Bob, wasn't she? Yeah. 
Cochon Glenny, what's up? Yeah, on the fishing boat. Go! Dotting the lake on all sides are dining spots with spectacular views. Today, Captain dropped us off at Lakeside, and while we don't usually call favorites, we all agreed it was one of the best eateries in the area. It could have something to do with the fun-loving jazz band, but more likely it's because of executive chef Mike Guado, who spent years in the city working under culinary titans like Danielle Ballou. Don't let his laid-back approach fool you. This boy can cook. We're gonna do a couple dishes. We're gonna start out with a Prince Edward Island mussels with a coconut curry sauce. Yum. One of the popular appetizers. Fan, I'm a fan already. What's yeah. next? We're gonna do a chicken gorgonzola. It's kind of unique to us. It's basically, What's chicken gorgonzola. It's like southern fried chicken with uh, gorgonzola cream sauce. So it's a dietetic lunch we're having. And then what's the, what's the finale? The grand finale. We're gonna do a 50 ounce tomahawk ribeye. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay, Mike, 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 take me through it. Let's do it. All right. Don't so, be scared of Glenny when she starts yelling at you. First up, the mussels, garlic and olive oil, the scallions, the mussels, the clarified butter, and the heavy cream. Next, coconut cream mixed with curry powder. In goes a little veggie stock, more butter, and a squeeze of lime. Once these bad boys open up, it's time to eat them up. Can you guys give me a couple forks? What? Forks? Wait, first of all, a couple? You think I'm sharing them? And forks? I don't even think of fork. Not my first rodeo. Three. Two, one. Mm, 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 mm. It's like sex in a show, people. Right here at Lakeside. <laughs> you know, Changing I, the name. What is that? This is a prime tomahawk ribeye. So basically it's the, basically it's just like a prime rib you would get with a longer bone. Chef has got some serious <laughs> meat people going on in here. That's all I'm saying. It's big naughty meat. <laughs> <laughs> raised it with the naughty. I like that. <laughs> I'll take I'll take I'll take meat and raise you by naughty. Okay, so how much how much 50 ounces? We're gonna cut a 50 ounce center cut out of this and uh, we serve it you know to our VIP customers. We only do it once in a while. You show up. VIP right over here people. There it is. Oh my god. He coats the meat in copious amounts of salt mixed with pepper and sears it on the grill. Then into the oven. While that cooked, we had some time to kill, so Chef whipped up his gorgonzola fried chicken. Chicken battered with some seriously spicy herb blend. Then the sauce, clarified butter, shallots, garlic, cremini mushrooms and tomatoes, chicken stock, and heavy cream. So we're gonna reduce this down until it thickens, or it becomes nappe, whatever you wanna call it. What did you just say? Nappe, it's a French term for Nappe, look at that. Nappe. Ripping out the French term. So it's got to coat the back of a spoon. That's what we're working with Danielle Balloon will do to you. In went the gorgonzola, time to take it to the plate. Chicken on top of mashed taters, and that sauce. Fried chicken with gorgonzola cream sauce at the lake side. With my boy Mike. In three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> what is your problem? I don't know. <laughs> oh, where's my steaks? It's in the oven still. Where's my steak? It's almost done. Faced with more time to kill, we headed to the bar, where the lovely Christy Herman mixed us a cocktail, the cucumber cooler. All right, just muddling that cucumber like only Christy can. Uh, full disclosure, people, we've been hanging out here off camera. People know what they're doing. In went the simple syrup and Hendrix gin, only the best for the Tony on team. Well, I'm just going, wow. Are you talking about the drink or the girl? Oh, oh, drink. oh, the drink. <laughs> Woo! That's good. That will cool you off. Speaking of heat, Chef was putting the finishing touches on that tomahawk, brushing it with yet more clarified butter, and sliced it up a perfect medium rare, along with veggies he picked from his garden. And Glenny? This is for you. Oh my God. <laughs> that's for you. Three. Oh. That's not for you. Oh, What's like, that oh. actually for you? I was like, you're gonna give me the first bite? No! I got excited. No! You never get the first bite. I know, I thought something weird happened. Understand your place, woman. I did. You are my TV wife, I am the husband. I was confused. Three, two, one. I was so excited to drop my fork. <laughs> Don't shoot my feet. But that makes it probably the best part, right? Oh. It's manly. 
Did you say I'm manly? That's manly. <laughs> I'm a dude in a dress, bro. <laughs> Coming up on the road trip home, why you have to stop here for this. Plus, we take the ride of a lifetime. Now, another truly unique experience you can have in the Finger Lakes is full of hot air, literally. If you have ever dreamed of riding in a hot air balloon, this guy is the guy that can make that happen for you. Carol Tetsworth, a former Navy pilot, will take you up and away. Are people usually excited, nervous, like first timers? All of the above. All of the above. I actually went one time. I'm still a little nervous. I think my crew's petrified, but, but they have to come. That's part of the gig, right, Glenny? Yeah. Right, Bob? Bob's excited. Bob's Woo. excited. Woo! I'm ready to do this. Guys, are you ready to do this? Glenny? Glenny? Glenny! Yeah! She's so ready, Bob! Yeah! Yeah! All right, let's go! This is okay. gonna be fun! You guys, I've done this before, trust me. If I can do it scared of heights, you could do it. Easy. Fun. Woo! Here we go! <laughs> you ready? Oh boy. All right. I think that's high enough. Can we go yeah. back down there? <laughs> oh my god! I'm not oh down. my god! I'm just pretending I'm not here right now. <laughs> we have to prove to people that I was up here. I am proving. I'm proving it right now. Oh prove it now. I'm, I can't see anything. Hang on. My fear. Okay, you know what? <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be totally an art video. I'm just saying. <laughs> Please don't let me lean back over the edge to get a good shot. I'm getting you. There she is. Oh, okay. All right, I need a drink after this. Oh. <laughs> oh, look! You can get shots on the lake right from here. Oh, anyway, you go back. Doubled over. I'm not scared, I'm laughing, that's different. Okay. Carol's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard voice before? Heard what? Is this normal behavior for people? <laughs> Everybody's different. Uh. Oh! Of course, man. The, 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 to, the people that tell me they've been up before, I don't I expect. know, well you know what, the one we were in in Egypt was a, the basket was higher. Oh, bigger. Oh, don't tell me about the tiny. Oh. I don't want to hear a tiny with you. Look at tiny. Hey, shots of the lake. Get your okay. shots of the lake. Monopoly houses over there. Right, stop, me, stop, stop. freaking. All right, oh, we're only going to use the video where we look like we're having a blast. Know, right? This is awesome. Yeah. This is the only way to see the finger lakes. This is it. If you can actually look down. <laughs> we had to do a lake landing. What is like it? Sully. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, woo! Well, look at how low they are in the lake. Wait, do you see them? They're yes, doing a lake landing. landing. That's the thing. We're not doing a lake landing. If you do a practice landing on land, it's called a touch and go, same okay. as airplane. But okay. if you do it on water, you come down slowly and gently, like he's doing. Uh -huh and very carefully touch the bottom of the basket on the top of the water. Can you do that? Turn the burner back on and go back up. And That's if you do crazy. that correctly, it's called a uh, splash and dash. The views from up in the balloon were truly breathtaking, but the odd thing is you never really know where you're gonna land. Our sister balloon set down in a field, but ours, well, sometimes you just have to wing it. The ground team followed our every move, and today we landed in someone's side yard. <laughs> he landed in somebody's yard and they're not even home. As the ground team packed up the gear, turns out that that someone was home after all. Coming up, we're heading back to the city, but not before we hit Lupo's because I've never had a Speedy. Now before you head back home, you've got one more stop to make. Because you have to try Upstate's most iconic eats. People, this is not simply a sandwich, it's an institution. Derived from the Italian word spadini, meaning skewer, speedy started off as a street food, brought here by the Italian immigrants who settled to work for Endicott Johnson Shoe Company. And while EJ's is long gone from the area, the skewer sandwich stuck around. John Lupo's family has the monopoly on the speedy spots in the area. 
His is here in Endicott, while his cousin owns and operates the one in Binghampton. So, what makes the Speedy so special? Locals will tell you it's all about the sauce. Whoa, that looks serious. Want a pork sandwich, fried hots? Fried hots. All right. So he gives me the little one, he gives Tom the big one. Man, obviously doesn't know me very well. No. Give me the small sandwich. Boy, it doesn't look like you. Doesn't look like you've been eating too many sauce. Oh, How's that? He, huh? And he's smooth. All right. He is smooth to move. Right, watch, wrap it. Oh, don't wrap it. Give me. Oh, is it hot? Am I gonna burn myself? You have to wrap it. Why are you wrapping it? I'm you, gonna you eat it. You have to. Because it's a rules? You have to, yeah. You have to? It's like, I smell. Okay, so this One is the those things. Is this the marinade? Uh, no, that's a sauce that we put on afterwards. It's marinated already What's before this? we cook it. That is the marinade. That's the That's what you can buy and do it yourself. Oh, right. oh, people. Is it hot? Am I gonna burn my mouth? No. Are you sure? Yes. All right, we go. I've customer. never had the speedy sandwich before, people. Never, Bob. Here we go. Never. Here's and here it is. Take a look. Take a look, people. Oh, yeah. I'm not playing around here in Endicott. New York. Here we go, people. In three, two, one. <laughs> That's a sandwich, people. For all the info on the show, just find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And while you're there, let us know where you want us to take the show. We take your tips and your safety very seriously. So always remember to buckle up and assign a designated driver as you traverse the tri-state. And we'll see you next time on Tony On.